I do know that when FF7 Rebirth comes out, which is the February 29th leap day, I'm clearing my weekend to play that game. No matter what I'm doing. <laughs> Maybe Ether Buster. Maybe it was streamer or just play it. Hmm. Just stream or play like my most anticipated game of all time? <laughs> Absolutely I'm gonna stream it. I mean to be real with you, all the games I most of the games I play I end up streaming. Let's just say 95% of the games I wanna play at this point, I stream. I don't even get I barely get time to play on my own time. Like it's very little. Most of my dedicated free time, if I'm gaming, is to, like, do stuff, like, for grinding for playthroughs. Like, I've been spending- I had to spend time this morning doing live alive stuff, because if I am finishing the game, I had to get ready for that super boss that has you run, like, a hundred times. I've also been playing Dragon Quest Monsters, because I still have to record some videos for it. Story-focused stuff, at this point, I just stream. Basically. That'll change when I replay Cold Steel 1 and 2. Because I do, I have to replay those games, but I don't have time. I don't have time to do playthroughs of them again. Like, they're too long games to commit to YouTube and Twitch playthroughs. So it'd just be faster to play on my own time. Plus, I'm not going to want to dive into Cold Steel 3 immediately anyway, because, you know, I don't want to play too much Trails. I just wouldn't be able to do it. Oh, another Gladiator headband? Let's go. Give that to Randy. Take out this confusion thing. You appear deep inside the chest once again, only to bump your head against the lid as you stand back up. Serves you right. Mostly because I hate having to go back for games. I really, like, I hate the idea of... Obviously it happens, but I hate the idea of a game coming out and then like, Oh, I wanted to play this so badly and now I have to, like, stream it. Mess up my backlog and everything. So it, it's rough. It sucks because there's so many games I played, like, before I had a channel. And there's also games I played that I wasn't sure if I was gonna like. Like say, the Trials of Mana remake, I didn't buy a day of because I wasn't sure I was going to like it considering I didn't like the original. So, like, there's games like that where it's like, oh, I played them. I have to make time to stream them because they were so good that I want them to have playthroughs and stuff. Well, like, at this point, I'm trying my best to make it, like, a, for a, a process thinking, like, a mental to, like, a game I want to play that's story-driven, I just try to stream it. Either ASAP or make room for it. I just try to do that now from now on. Looks like that was the last of them. Yes, it should be. I can't detect any more monsters within the abandoned mine. Oh, finally. Running around this ugly place has me tuckered me has tuckered me out. That's for sure. Good work, you guys. Now, Lloyd, shall we back shall we head back to Mayor Bixon's house? Sounds like a plan. Oh, I don't think I'm gonna make it. Lloyd, do a pal of solid and carry me back to the entrance, please. Not gonna happen. Stop messing around, it's time to head back. Killjoy. Yes. I got basically all the chests. Looks like you wiped out every last one of those monsters for us. Yes, sir. That won't be an issue anymore. For the time being, no further monsters should try to settle in that area. Things should be safe at least until the rest of the crew gets back from the festival. That's music to my ears. I must find a way to thank you. Ah, how about this? Hey. Lots of Sepith. That's a lot of Sepith. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You sure you're allowed to give us this mountain of Sepith? You're pulling our leg, right? 
Mayor Bixon, a reward like this might be appropriate for bracers, but I'm not sure we can accept this as police officers. Besides, this isn't separate the valuable export from your minds. We could take so much of it away from you, can we? Please, you're overthinking this. Sepith is merely fragments of septium, you know? You can consider it as a byproduct of the septium mining process. I can't thank you enough for taking care of the monsters in that abandoned mine, especially given the risks that were involved. If anything, I'm a little ashamed to be trying to give you leftovers like this and calling it a reward. Ah, no, it's incredibly generous of you. Maybe even too much. The four of you always seem to be saving the day for us. Please allow me to give this to you as a token of my appreciation. I see. In that case, we'd be more than grateful to accept it. Thank you, sir. Good man. Before you leave, let me say thank you one last time. I'll be sure to reach out to you again today. Anything come up. Alright, we have ten minutes left. I actually know what we can do as a better idea rather than moving on the story. Because I only have ten minutes left and I don't want to get stuck in cutscenes. I have a fun little idea we can do with our ten minutes. First, we report this quest. Yeah. Honestly, that seems fair. Take a break between arcs. That's another thing. I wanted to prepare for Crossbell with the motivation of playing Zero and Azure back to back. Same for Sky. I really wanted to play like all the Sky games back to back. So honestly, I'll admit the gap between Cold Steel 2 and Sky 1 was a lot longer than I wanted. That was partially just because I didn't even think of going back to it. I just completely got caught up in other stuff. That was a lot longer than I wanted there to be a break between. But, and honestly, the break from Sky 3 to 0 was probably either just right or a little shorter than I expected. But, I want to play the arcs, like, back to back. So, the perfect time to take a break is after an arc. Obviously, Cold Steel didn't happen because people in my Cold Steel 2 chat were telling me that I should play the other games before Cold Steel 3. So I kind of considered Cold Steel 1 and 2 as a quote-unquote arc, even though there's still 3 and 4. Because I didn't know about the nature of the series at the time. But, um... Played Sky 1 to 3, took a break. I planned to play Azure after this, take a break. I don't know exactly how long that break would be. I'd be surprised if we didn't get the Cold Steel 3 this year, though. I'll definitely do Cold Steel 3 this year, and ideally I would want to play Cold Steel 3 and 4 back to back like I did all the other Trails games. So that's another thing. I have to like, I want to play them back to back, so I got to really, I got to take a, a long enough break where I'm like, yeah, I can play them back to back and not get burnt out. And again, I'm not loving Trails, but I'm liking Trails. I'm liking Trails enough to go through the games, but I'm not... I'm not, like, adoring the series, but I'm liking them enough where I want to see what happens with all the games. Ingenuity, where is it? I know it's, like, fire or something. Oh, it's earth. My mistake. Oh, it's a, it's a level 2, though. And now we can do that. Yeah, why not? Alright, so what we're going to do with our time is I want to go around and talk to some NPCs, because why not? We got the time. I don't really want to make story progress, because I don't want to get stuck in cutscenes. First, I want to see where Estelle and Joshua are. I also might want to go to... I think Fran's mother was apparently an NPC worth talking to, is what Flygon said. And we might go to Yona, too. City Hall, Arios... Um, personal business, mountain path, area, cathedral, cathedral, IBC, IBC. She Arios is City Hall. Okay. Where's Fran's mother again? Is she in this street? There's a couple of people I'm going to go to before we wrap up. I'm mostly just doing this because I don't want to move on the story and get stuck in cutscenes. Ah, oh, no, an urgent chat just came in from the main office. Isn't that how it goes? Doesn't look like I'll be heading out today after all. It's not Fran's mother, is it? It's not in Asasia, right, chat? Oh, is this her? 
Is it Clarice? Well, then I think I'll venture forth into this wild anniversary festival too. Yeah, Noel and Fran explored around the Harbor District for the first time day of the festival. I was thinking, a bit, uh, I'd, I was thinking I'd a bit, uh, I'd have a bit of a peek myself. Well, then I think I'll venture forth. All right, not too much to say there. It's fine. We did talk to Shizuku relatively recently, so I'm mostly focused on the others. Let's go to City Hall and talk to Arios. Looks like we can find Mayor McDowell's office behind the doors. Grandfather told me we could stop by his office whenever we'd like. He's always so busy. Oh, really? In that case, we should go in and visit when we're able to. Give the reason to go inside here. It was Ario. It's not here. Maybe this way. What is this place, Ellie? It's a reception hall. They use it for all kinds of diplomatic meetings. It would appear it's being used for some sort of sy symposium sponsored by Grandfather today. Oh, is that? There's Arius. Is that Dudley? I understand the plan. I look forward to working with you to secure the area. Understood. The first division is normally more than sufficient for security. I hope you don't hold this against me. I can't blame them for increasing security, though, given the number of foreign dignitaries in attendance. I'm sure the guild's help was requested to provide extra reassurance for their safety. Spare me the explanation. I'm already aware of the circumstances. See to it that you won't cause any blunders, Sir Divine Blade. Understood. Yeah, I wouldn't want to get dragged into that little cat fight. Agreed. It's rare to see those two together, probably because they're like oil and water. The two of them appear to be working together to guard the symposium. We should probably we should probably not get in their way. Let's leave them to their work. Alright. So oh, Lloyd's parents. We can go see Lloyd's parents, that's fine. Lloyd's parents. Jonah, maybe, and then if I can find the Stone Joshua on the mountain path. Villa Raisin's apartment. This is where Ilya lives. This is where we had to look for the peeping Tom. Oh, hey, uh. I think the two of you are getting along well. Ah, whatever. We just talk about random stuff. I guess it's nice hearing her stories about the play and stuff, though. It sounds fun. So, she is interested in theater. Guess she's got a girly side underneath all that tomboy after all. So it seems. Oh, right. You said your name was Lloyd? Well, listen up, punk. I'll see to it that you pay for your crimes. This grudge is here to stay. Oh, you're still mad about that? I wish you'd forget about it already. Oh, my word. Here we go. Hi, Rishia. I know I've caused you trouble by dragging you into this, but thank you so much. Without you, things may have not ended up as well as they did. We're just glad everything worked out. None of us were expecting Elia to do what she did, though. It certainly was a shock. You know, I think I can relate to Sully a little bit. Before meeting with Elia, I was just another person who'd lost her way. You okay, Rishia? Ah, uh, yes, it's nothing. Looks like Sully will be staying with Elia for now. I'm sure she'd love for you to visit if you ever find the time. Tell us about how you're Yin! uncle isn't here today. Huh? You're not out with him? No, he said he was interested in going to that symposium that's being held at reception hall. Your uncle has always had a soft spot for events like these. Was he just there? I didn't see him. Maybe I missed him because it's just a sprite. Okay. Uh, take me to, I'm assuming Estelle and Joshua are on the mountain path because that's what the guild told me. If not, I can go to the city hall and see if I can find Lloyd's uncle.
should have just took the... Part of me was like, I should have taken the bus stop. I don't know where Estelle and Joshua are, so... Oh, they're by Rosenberg Studio. That's where we met Ren. Alright, Doll Studio. But yeah, um... After Azure, take a small- take a break. I don't want to say small break. Get the Cold Steel 3 and 4. At least start Cold Steel 3 this year. I don't know when. I'd say no earlier than summer. No earlier than summer? I'd be shocked if I didn't start Cold Steel 3 this year. I'd be astounded. Um, I'll obviously play Cold Steel 3 and 4 back to back, and then, like, maybe take a small break or a break before, like, Reverie. Or maybe not, we'll see. No one home. Joshua, are you positive this is the place? I don't have definitive proof, but everything we've found up until now points here. There's just too much information about the 13 factories even I don't know about. All we know is that it's a network of 12 workshops that's passed down ancient technology. And supposedly the doll studio is one of them. This is definitely the kind of place she'd stay at. What's the plan, Estelle? Should I go in and investigate? No, it's okay. Lucky for us, we aren't directly butting in, butting heads with the society this time. If I'm in the catcher, I'll have to play by the rules. If that's what you think is best, I'm with you. Besides, we still have that option to worry about. Should we focus on that for now? Sounds good to me. Estelle, Joshua. Huh? The SSS. Hey, what a surprise. I thought I was detecting a familiar presence, but I could not pinpoint who it was. Why the heck are you guys here? Does the SSS have some business with the studio? We were just stretching our legs for a bit. What about you? Did the Bracer Guild have a request here or something? Actually, we're here on personal business. Or we were, at least, but it looks like no one's in right now. On a lighter note, you guys put up a good fight yesterday. How you feeling? I'm a little sore, but fine overall. Forget us. After all that yesterday, the two of you look completely unaffected. What gives? You think? I guess these two years of walking everywhere has finally started to pay off. Sorry to cut our conversation short, but it's about time for us to start heading back to Crossbell. I'm sure we'll run into each other again. Be careful on your way back, guys. Of course, you all stay safe too. Even a moron could tell that they were hiding something from us. That may be true, but I didn't sense any guilt coming from them. I don't think it's our place to stick our noses into their private matters. Joshua mentioned the owner of the doll studio isn't home. Shall we head back as well? Yeah, might as well. We met that strange girl here last time, didn't we? Did those two know her or something? I wonder. I wonder. I wonder. Um. Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, I don't want to promise that I'm starting Cold Steel 3 in the summer. But I do guarantee that we're not going to do Cold Steel 3 in the spring. At the very earliest, it would be the summer. And that's even that's kind of vague. Because I myself don't know. That would mean that I'm at least going to take like three to four months break between Azure and Cold Steel. And that's just a minimum. That's just a minimum. Plus, we don't need... A to finish them by, I don't want to necessarily finish them by 2024. I just want to start Cold Steel 3 this year, ideally, is my goal. If for some reason I start in like November or December and it bleeds into 2025, that's fine too. My goal is to mostly start Cold Steel 3 in 2024. You know, it's it's up in the air. I, I, I don't even know when I'm starting it, so I can't really say when it's going to happen. I hear Cold Steel 3 and 4, like, longer. Are you playing them back to back? I mean, I kind of have to, right? I kind of feel like I should. I mean, that's the, that's the whole point of the conversation that we're talking about. About, like, how I'm playing two- how I'm playing the arcs in one.
feel like I kind of should play them back to back. It's kind of like a Cold Steel 1 2 scenario. And the same with Zero and Azure. Which is, another, which is the main reason I'm taking a break after Azure, because I'm, I have to prepare myself for two more Trails games, and they're long Trails games. I hear three and four are like the longest. But, with that, actually, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. SSS, I need to heal. This looks good, right? A new decoration was added to Lloyd's room. Oh yeah, the decorations! We should do this really quick. We'll rest first. Oh wait, am I resting in- Wait, 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 wait. is this Ellie's room? This isn't Ellie's room. Oh, you're able to rest on any of the beds, that's funny. Alright. Alright, no, never mind. I thought we had more decorations, I guess not though. This does look alright. New decoration added to Ellie's room. That's nice. It's really nice. Alright. Regardless, let me let me look at this really quick. Yeah, all quests are done, so all we have to do is this. We'll do that next time. Regardless, we're done for today. Save the game. We will continue chapter three next time and see what happens with the crossbow anniversary festival and what happens with Zero. So yeah, we'll uh, we'll kind of push through. It feels like we're like halfway through the game. I'd be surprised if we weren't. But I'm gonna say we're like at least halfway through the game. We'll kind of see how it goes, but we'll, we'll keep pushing through it. Those of you watching, hope you all enjoyed. When we come back, we will move on the story and see where Chapter Three takes us. So yeah, uh, tomorrow I honestly don't know what I'm doing. I was gonna do Grandia, but I might do Live Alive. I'll do one of them, and whichever one I don't do, I'll do on Friday. Regardless, I'm playing like two of my favorite games back to back. So, you know, and then we'll probably pick up Zero on Saturday or Sunday. I actually might not stream on Saturday, but if I do, I'll play Trails from Zero. So yeah, thank you all for watching. See you all next time.